A group of Brazos County residents are advocating for better living conditions for renters. Yeah, after the city of College Station took some steps to safeguard renters, advocates are now calling on the city of Bryan to follow suit. News 3's Donnie Tuggle is digging deeper into the issue of rental inspections. It's new tonight at 10. Every tenant deserves a safe and livable space, whether it's ensuring that you have working lights in your apartment, running water in your egg shack, or reliable air conditioning during the summer. Advocates for healthy housing say proactive rental inspections can identify poor housing conditions that would otherwise go unaddressed. They allow us to identify and fix hazardous housing conditions before people are exposed and harmed. Unlike code enforcement systems that rely on complaints, Proactive inspection programs require routine inspections to identify health and safety issues before they become a problem. In a traditional complaint-based inspection system, which is what most of our communities have, some renters are legitimately fearful of repercussions from their landlord or concerned about unintended consequences of interacting with a local governmental agency. Trey Watson is part of a group of advocates calling on the city of Bryan to develop a program to safeguard renters, especially seniors and college students. Well, there are some people who don't know their rights as far as it comes to, you know, uh, renting things. And it's also something that the city can also help with more as well. If you know, if you actually do care about your residents, you will want to make sure that you look out for them. In College Station, they're working with stakeholders to develop a voluntary rental inspection program that will use an app to report violations and other non-emergency issues. And while programs like these may seem to target landlords, advocates say they benefit from them too. Tax incentives to uh, lower no interest loans or grants or programs that are able to come in and actually do the repairs. I'm usually having a mix of those financing strategies in place to help those low and moderate income property owners um, can really overcome a lot of the fears that landlords have. Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Local advocates have developed a survey to see what housing issues residents are facing and they're meeting soon to discuss plans to then present those issues to city leaders. A Republican